Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of solving graphs. This is standard 7.6G in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 26 of the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a circle graph here showing Tremaine's computer time. And we have a total of 30 hours. So we've got percentages here, but that's going to be very important for us to know that this equals 30 hours. So how many more hours? All right, so we're comparing. Did Tremaine use the computer to play games, then to do research? So we're going to do a little bit of comparison here. If I were to draw a strip diagram, I would have my games. I'm going to compare that with my research. And I simply want to subtract the two to figure out what they are. But I only have them in percentages. So I've got 25%. Then I've got, where's my research? There it is, 5%. All right. So we've got two different ways to do this. Let me show you the long way, then I'll show you the shortcut. So 25% of this games, it's of 30, because there's 30 hours. So I need 25% of 30, and I need 5% of 30. Once I get those two, I can just subtract the two. So let's see, 25% of 30. Well, of means times. And you can't really multiply a percent by a number, but you can multiply a decimal by a number. And if we take our 25%, and we'll move the decimal once, twice, guess what that becomes? 0.25 times 30. So let's do that. 30 times 0.25. And that's going to turn that into an actual number, 25% of 30. So that's going to be 0, 15. And that is going to be 0, 6. All right. So we'll add this up. 750. Remember, we have two digits behind the decimal in our factor, so we need two digits behind the decimal in our product. So 7.5 is our games, 7.5. And then we'll do the same thing for research. Now, remember, if the decimal is at the end, because there is no decimal, we have to move it over once, twice. So it's not 0.5, it's 0.05. One little trick there. So let's do 30 times 0.05. 0, 15. The next row is just a whole bunch of zeros, so I'm just going to leave it like that. Remember, guys, I have two digits behind the decimal in my factor, so two digits behind the decimal in my product, so 1.5. All right, so if I subtract 7.5 minus 1.5, then there we go. We're going to get 6.0 or just plain 6. Looks like F. Now, some of you might not have done that. Some of you might have taken the shortcut already and said, you know what, if there's 25%, they're looking for what's the difference between 25% and 5%. Well, that's pretty easy. 25% minus 5%, that's a difference of 20%. Now, we still have to find 20% of 30, but you know what, if I do a little bit of subtraction on the front end, all I need to do is one multiplication on the back end. So let's move our decimal once, twice, so that turns into 0 0.20, or we'll just call it 0.2, because you don't need that decimal after that, that 2 right there. So look how easy this is going to be, 30 times 0.2, so it's going to be 0, it's going to be 6. We've got one digit behind the decimal here, and so look at that, exact same answer. So... If you want, you could find the 25% of 30, the 5% of 30, and subtract those two like we did here. Or you can go ahead and subtract them on the front end, get your 20%, and multiply that. Either way, you are going to get the exact same answer of 6.0, or we will just call it F6 hours.